everybody. It is Kevin, the tortoise guy. Oh, and Piper. Come on in, honey. Come on. Come on in here. Come on. Come on. There you go. Happy New Year. Whoop. Happy New Year, everybody. Okay. From Tortoise Land, happy 2023. All righty. Okay. I'm going to turn the camera around. Uh, I don't have Suzanne, my awesome camera person today. So it's just me. I do have a mic, a new mic that's supposed to be really, really good, everybody. So want to make sure that you're hearing me okay. Hold on. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay. You hear me okay, everybody? Happy 2023. Come on in. We got a bunch of the tortoises are out, everybody. Okay. A lot's gone on in 2023 already. It's only January 8th. <laughs> there goes Piper. Hi, Sweet Piper. Sweet Piper and Rocky love climbing Tortoise Land Mountain. Come here, honey. Come here. You can come right here. Okay. All right. Who's out? We got. Okay, if Tracy Wells is on board, guess who's here? We got the wonderful punk, the Mediterranean tortoise. Okay, today's a special treat, everybody. What's going on? Babies, okay? The, oh, Tracy Wells. Tracy! Look, this is for you, buddy, okay? Look who is it. It's, it's, it's uh, Marca Tabino. Hey, Marca. Nice to see you on board. Welcome. Happy New Year. Welcome to Tortoise Land, anybody who's new. Okay. So just, oh, Marie Stubbs. Hey, Marie. Hey, did you see the video I just put out? It only just came out. Uh, there's Punk. It only just came out at 845, everybody. It's pretty cool. It's Shy Girl laying her eggs. And speaking of eggs, hold on to your hats because we're going to be going inside. Eileen. Hi, Eileen. Hey, it's Diane. Big day. Diane's my sidekick, and she's going to be going away on Thursday, okay? And we're going to do a special video because she's been my sidekick forever. Everybody, welcome. Marca Tabino. Yay. Hey, Marca, where are you from? Where are you from? I love having people comment. Hey, can you guys hear me okay? We got a new microphone system right there. It's supposed to be super duper. I only just come online, but the babies are amazing news. They are amazing news, and we're going to go inside and see them, okay? Um, so, hey, everybody, I want to show you a few. Let's see. Green, red, and yellow. I don't know what flag. What flag is that, Marka? What flag? Help me out there. We do translate the videos oh, loud and clear. Okay, it sounds good. Very good. All right, awesome. Okay, so here is... Here is Punk, and if you guys don't know Punk, Punk is our resident Mediterranean tortoise named Punk because Africa. We're in Africa. Hi, Marka. Welcome to Tortoise Land, Africa. Awesome. You know what? Speaking of Africa, we have African sulcata tortoises here. I wonder if you have ever seen one in the wild, everybody. This right here. Who's this guy? You guys aren't going to believe it. This is Dumpster. Everybody, this is Dumpster, and Dumpster is African sulcata. African sulcatas are the third largest species in the world, people. Third largest species in the world, okay? And Marka, have you ever seen any? They originate from northern Africa, all over the place, along with leopard tortoises, okay? So this guy, you know what the story of, of Dumpster? Why named Dumpster? Right? Why name dumpster? Because dumpster was found in a dumpster, all right, as a baby with, with her brother, Compton. They were found in the city of Compton in a dumpster. Oh, here. Okay. Here goes. Uh, who's this, everybody? Bobbing that head. Watch this, everybody. Okay. This is Nuvi, the desert tortoise. Okay. And Nuvi loves to loves to, to, to bob that head, okay? And bobbing that head means that he's very territorial, okay? And he doesn't want any other tortoises to, to be on his turf, okay? He's like a dog that, that, you know, thinks he owns everything. I want you to meet another tortoise here, okay? Everybody's coming out. The rain has stopped. And who's this guy? This is, okay, this is, hold on. Okay, this is our, we have two critically endangered yellow-headed 
elongated tortoises. They're called elongated because look how long the shell is compared to like an African sulcata. This is also an African sulcata. Okay. This is uh, Torga, everybody. Okay. Torga came to Tortoise Land. Tortoise Land is a nonprofit 501c3, right? That's what we are. Okay. I've been taking care of tortoises for 20 years. We adopt tortoises out. Okay. Oh, look at this. Okay. This guy is getting so big, everybody. Okay. Soon, soon, dumpster. African sucatas grow so incredibly fast. So very soon, dumpster is not going to be able to make it and come up here on our land bridge we have, the Tortoise Land Mountain, we call it. Let's see. Are you stuck? Oh, my gosh. You're stuck? Let me help you out a little. There you go. African sulcatas. He is spiky, it looks like. Uh, well, he's got a little bit of pyramiding. It's called pyramiding, okay? And it's kind of hard not to have pyramiding when these guys are in captivity, you know, because they eat really well. Okay, Dumpster is a girl. How about that? Dumpster is a girl, all right? So she's an African sulcata. We're going to be seeing the eggs of Shy Girl, right? Okay, so we got elongated yellow-headed tortoise critically endangered. This is the boy. This is the boy. We have a boy and a girl. How can you tell it's a boy? See that tail? Super long tail. You see that, everybody? That is a long tail, okay? And a long tail indicates a boy, all right? As opposed to right here, we have, okay? You guys remember Allie Drifter? This is Allie Drifter, okay? A lot of tortoises come here um, that are rescues. Allie Drifter was found in an alley, and we had a naming contest, and somebody won a tortoise guy hat and a tortoise guy baseball cap and T-shirt, okay? Two people, okay? So look at this. So this African sulcata, this beautiful girl, was found in, in a alley, okay? And the person who found it found me on Instagram. We're on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, and of course, YouTube, everybody. All right, hey, who else came on board? There's five people I see. Please let us know who you are. Okay, so how do you tell a boy from a girl? All right, let me show you. Remember that big tail? Look at this little tail. See that little tail and much more of a V? You see the V between where the tail is? That indicates a girl, okay? Generally speaking, sometimes you can't, sometimes we're wrong, okay? But a small tail like that and a more pronounced V means it's a girl, okay, everybody? So, okay, we got, we got Allie Drifter and we got Torga, okay? What is Torga's story, everybody? Torga lived in a tank, a glass tank, okay? Not a good way to raise a tortoise. If you have a tortoise and they're in a tank, glass tank, please take them out, okay? You can put them where you, how can you do it? That's way better. Oh, there's Punk. Hi, Punk. Okay, what's way better than a glass tank? This is way better than a glass tank, everybody. Okay, this is, you know, just a simple plastic container. You can get at your local hardware store for like 12 bucks. This is a nice big one, okay? This is great because it's open air. Let them breathe, okay? And it's portable. If you have them in here, you can pick it up, okay? You can pick this up and you can take it out side when it's sunny and get them out in the sun. It's a cloudy day today. Okay. But you know, you want to get your tortoises outside everybody. Okay. I just want to update you on a few things and then we're going to go inside. Okay. Look at this. Okay. Look at this. This is Nuvi, the desert tortoise. Okay. He's very possessive and he bites the other tortoises. So I keep him separated. Okay. We keep him separated. I brought these guys out so you could Say hi to them and see. Okay. These these two guys are both in quarantine right now because they have runny noses. Yes, you do, huh? That's uh Ellie Drifter. Hi, buddy. Okay. And so they went to the vet yesterday with baby Sheldon. Okay. If you have a tortoise, turtle, and you see them have a runny nose like these guys and they're wheezing, guess what? Bring them to the vet right away. Find find your local exotic veterinarian that deals with exotic animals okay look around you can google i'm lucky i live in la and we have the best um access vet it's called access hospital 
in Culver City. They handle all the needs of my tortoises. So if your tortoise has a runny nose, you got to get them in right away because that means they have some kind of respiratory situation, which can be fatal if you don't do something about it. Okay. So these guys now are on a round of antibiotics. I immediately separated them from the other tortoises. Okay. Check this out. Piper loves going here. Hi, Piper. This is where Shy Girl laid the last batch of eggs, everybody. Okay. She laid, we created a space for her. Okay. Because we were desperate to find her a place to lay eggs that she would like. Okay. Because for three and a half weeks, she did not and would not lay eggs in the places she's laid eggs before, which is under here. Okay. This is our egg laying place for the big tortoises. Okay right here and this is where she laid her first two clutches of eggs everybody okay but she would not do it no matter how much soil i put in here no matter what i did she wouldn't do it she'd start to dig a nest and abandon it okay so if you have a female tortoise and they keep trying to lay eggs they dig nests and they stop you got to help them out okay because they will not she will not lay eggs if she doesn't like if there's something about it she doesn't like. So we built this area where we used to have our, our, our bathtub, okay? And she kept digging and then stopping. So what I did, and watch the video, Cray Cray Rocky is inside. He doesn't like coming out on the live streams, okay? So he'll come out when we're done, okay? Hey, so I want you to check out this video. It's really cool. It just dropped today. Did any of you guys watch it? It just dropped at 8.45, okay? Helping desperate tortoise lay eggs, okay? Okay, and this is what it was about. This was Shy Girl. Why was she desperate? Because for three and a half weeks, she kept trying to lay eggs, look like she would lay eggs, and walk away. So what did we do? I changed the soil after running my, just, just about ready to take her to Access Vet, which I didn't want to do, because I knew she was full of eggs in the car, bumpy ride, and they were going to maybe have to induce labor, which means she would start laying the eggs immediately. So I changed the soil to a moister soil, okay? And guess what? That did the trick, okay? And look at this. How many eggs did she lay, everybody? An incredible 29 eggs. 29 after laying 32 six weeks earlier and after laying... 25 the first time and that 25 okay are hatching now as we speak look at it. this is baby number one everybody baby number one we're about to go see baby number one two and three okay please hit subscribe and like we're going to learn all about tortoises we have a lot of fun here we are a non-profit 501 c3 here's baby number one everybody ready oh look at that okay so we're going to go meet. I want you also an amazing documentary, not by me, but by Chuck Coleman, filmmaker. Look for this picture and look for it. It's called the Tortoise Whisperer Documentary. Okay. It came out last Sunday. Okay. And just check it out in the videos. You're going to find it. It's great. It's 23 minutes long and it tells the whole story of Tortoise Land. He, and in his honor, I named the the incubators because Chuck passed away about six months ago, sadly. Okay. He, 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 he is a big part of why tortoise land exists. People love the documentary. Okay. Okay. Two other, <laughs> look at Piper. Okay. Hi, Pipe. Piper's excited to say last Sunday we were in San Francisco for New Year's, everybody. Golden Gate Bridge. We did a brief live stream from San Francisco. Okay. Telling you what's happening in 2023. If you missed it, Check it out. Okay. Also, if you missed about three weeks ago, we had a live stream and a year holiday fundraiser. This is the band, Billy Joseph and the Army of Love. They do all the music for the show. Check them out on Spotify, Apple Music, you name it, Google, everything. Okay. And because of their help, okay, we have a goal of raising $10,000. Okay. You know, soon by the end of January, if we can. And we have raised so far $1,200, everybody. That's pretty cool. $1,200 out of the $10,000 we need just to operate here. So if you can help us out, how do you do that? You go to paypal.com back, uh, backslash tortoise land. You can go to GoFundMe backslash tortoise land. You can go to 
Patreon is awesome. Backslash the tortoise guy and join for as little as a dollar a month and get cool things. See videos no one else can see. Get stuff like hats and t-shirts. Okay, there goes Nuvi, everybody. Okay, guess what? Let's go inside. You guys want to see the babies? Let's go see the babies, okay? Okay, remember, Shy Girl finally laid those eggs right here. Check out the video this morning. Okay, tortoise desperate, helping tortoise desperate to lay eggs, okay? All righty. Who's in here, everybody? We got, oh, you want to see? We got baby green. Let's see where the boy is, okay? I don't, I don't know where he is, okay? All right. Let's go in and see. Let's go see some of the sulcatas. You want to? Let's go see. Who's here? Oh, who's that? That's coffee, everybody. There's Shy Girl, okay? There's Shy Girl, everybody. He, she is our girl that laid all the eggs. Tracy Wells. Yes, baby turtles. <laughs> okay? Shy Girl's who laid all the eggs, everybody. Very proud of her, okay? And who's in here? We got Lumpe. We got Compton. The, the the sister of Dumpster that was found in a dumpster and Stunty Runty. Oh, and who's this, everybody? Who's this? This is Marmalade, one of us. Says, Hi, Marmalade. Okay, here we go, guys. Sorry for the camera work. It's just me today. Hey, you want to say hi to Tracy and gang? You want to say hi to Craig Gray Rocky, who refuses to come out on the live streams? Oh, my goodness. Okay. No, it's not over. We're still here. Okay. We're still here. Okay. Spotty internet today. Look at this. There you go. Who's the dude? How's the dude? Hi, honey. Craig Gray Rocky says, hi, everybody. I know, honey, huh? I know. He's, he's world famous. <laughs> ha, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he can be a jerk, but. He's a wonderful, wonderful doggy, and he helps protect the tortoises. Okay, ready for this, everybody? Okay, three incubators. Okay, incubator number one, 13 weeks. 13 weeks ago, it takes about 12 weeks on average for an African cicada to lay eggs, okay? So this was 13 weeks ago. This one is due to lay, guess what, in, in three and a half weeks, okay? So how many eggs are in here? Okay, you guys ready for this? An incredible 32 eggs, everybody. 32 African sulcata eggs, okay? Pretty amazing. Okay, look at the temperature, 87 degrees, okay? Okay, reptile eggs. Shy girl having a well-deserved rest. She sure is, Maria. She sure is. I talked to Dr. Shakterly yesterday about the number of eggs she laid. First she laid um, 25, then she laid... 32, then six weeks later, 29. And Dr. Shakter Lee says that's a lot of eggs. It's not unprecedented because sulcatas will lay in clutches, you know, and that's what she did. Okay, ready, everybody? Baby number three, ready? Here we go, okay? Take a look. <gasps> Where's he at? Let's see. Let's see here. Can you see? Oh, right here, right? Look at this little dude, okay? Look at this little dude. Look at, hi, honey. Hi. Right here. Hold on, everybody. Right here. Come here. Oh, there you go. You see that, everybody? Can you see? Hi, little guy. Okay. So this guy started busting out day before yesterday. Okay. And is sitting. What happens is when they, when they, when they bust through finally, okay, often they stay in the egg because they have to suck up the nutrients that are in their egg yolk, okay? They have an egg sac. They have a belly button like any baby with an umbilical cord and the egg sac they're sitting on, okay? So this guy is sitting on Tracy Wells. Close up, please. Okay, well, this is the best I can do, everybody. Whoops, hold on. This is the best I can do right now. Hold on, okay? You guys, you guys hold on. Hi, little guy. I, I want to be very gentle here. I got to be very gentle. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Can you see? Yes. Okay. There he is. Okay. So he will probably, he or she will be in this egg possibly another couple days. Okay. Um, because even though busted through, is still um, taking in the nutrients from that yolk sac. Plus the yolk sac, if this guy busted out right now, would have a huge 
yolk sac underneath them attached to their belly button, okay? And when that happens, and that has happened in the past, okay, it's not good. They bust out too soon. Guess what? They flip over, okay? Thank you. Oh, wow, amazing. It's such hard. It is. It is really hard work for them because you know why? Here they have it made, right? In nature, this little dude is under at least a foot or more, a more uh, or more of dirt, of soil. So not only do they got to hatch out, they have to dig all the way up to the surface, right? And then they got to hope there's not a bird or an animal, all kinds of creatures that would want to eat them, okay? So it's very difficult for a baby tortoise to survive. Very difficult. 90% will not make it, okay, because they will get eaten or they will die, you know, of starvation. They don't find food right away. So they got it made here. So that leaves 19 eggs. Oh, check out the little teeny egg, everybody. Let's see. Let's see. You see that little egg? See that little teeny egg? Okay, so we have 19 eggs, including the little teeny mini egg. Okay, will that mini egg hatch? Dr. Shackley says, not likely, not likely at all, um, but you never know. We have hope, right? Okay, so here's baby number three. So what happens is each day, I check it out here, right? I see what's what. Okay, you're wondering, what are these eggs? This is from Big Mama the Redfoot, okay? Big Mama the Redfoot, okay? So don't know if they'll hatch. She's never hatched her eggs, so we're not sure. We don't think she's a fertile girl, but maybe it's one of the boys not fertile. Okay, whoops, hold on. Okay, so here's where, so once these guys do break out, they go from this part of the incubator to the here, okay? I have a little container. We got some nice moist dirt, okay? Because I want to get them out of that area, of course, right? They're crowded, all that. They come over here. You can see the egg yolk here, everybody. You see that? Here's what's left of baby number two's uh, uh, egg yolk, okay? Okay. All right. You want to see the babies? Huh? Hi, Kevin. It's Shanti. So exciting. I just wanted to tell you I joined Patreon and I'm donating $10 a month. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you know what? For $10 a month, you get a live stream with me every month. Okay, well, I'll, I'll answer your questions. I'll take you on a tour, whatever you want to do. And I think you get a coffee mug from the tortoise guy. And you get to see videos no one else has seen. So that's what you guys get from patreon.com. You can do it for a dollar a month. It helps us immensely to pay for the bills, everything for these guys. Okay, all right. So let's go see. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, everybody. We have a goal of raising $10,000 in the coming month or two or three, okay? We need that money for insurance, for our medical bills, you name it, okay? That doesn't even cover the food, but we that would be awesome. So, okay, let's go see. So say hi to this guy, baby number three. Maybe we'll have a naming contest, right? Okay, so we're gonna put this back on. So did you know that reptile eggs are temperature dependent on this, what the sex will be? Okay, so they are okay. So here's the thing, and here's why global warming is matters. Okay, so okay, we keep the temperature around eight mid 80, 80s. Okay, if it's 80 degrees, you're likely to have boys, if it's 90 degrees, you're more likely to have girls. Global warming is devastating reptile populations because the average temperature out there is about 90 and females are being born. Check it out on the news, sea turtles devastating all females being born okay so we have to help everybody we have to help all right we're gonna leave this little beautiful boy hi little beautiful boy what are you doing yeah yes we're gonna leave him here let's go check out baby number one baby number two and baby sheldon okay here we go right here everybody hey thanks for watching thanks for being here let's go see okay hey did anybody watch the video this oh look at look I'm going to shut my mouth, okay? Right here. Let's see what we can see. I'm going to flip the camera around, guys. There you go. Bam. Okay. So first off, here's baby Sheldon. Hi, baby Sheldon. Baby Sheldon, huh? He still goes to the vet uh, two times a week because he was doing wonderful. And then it got cold, and he's a desert tortoise. So guess what? 
He wants to hibernate. Hey, buddy. Want to say hi? Oh, look who's down there, too. Okay. So Sheldon wants to hibernate because that's what desert tortoises do. And desert, if you have a tortoise that wants to hibernate and they are vulnerable or little and they're not eating much, okay, or too little, you don't want to let them hibernate, okay? All right, here's their container, everybody. So we got a nice big container, like I told you, like outside. No glass containers, okay? Don't use glass containers. They don't allow ventilation. They're just not good, okay? So here, I have a Mista, and it's really important that your tortoises stay hydrated because if they're in a the house, it's so dry. Most houses, we have central heating, and it's nothing but dry. The worst thing that you can do for your tortoises is to not hydrate them. So to be extra safe, we have a, just a simple, inexpensive humidifier, okay, that helps lower, that raise the the humidity. Okay. Now check it out, everybody. Here is woo, baby number two. Let's get him up here next to Sheldon, who's uh, sleeping. Okay. Look at this guy. Baby number two, everybody already eating. And let's, oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Let's see. That's not baby. Okay. It is baby number two. See, baby number two hatched about three days after baby number one. And baby number two, you can see, is a little bit smaller than baby number one, okay? I have named, oh, look at, hey, is somebody gonna eat? Hey, is somebody thinking about eating, huh? Right, having, right? Let's see here, guys, hey? Okay, what are you thinking? You think you're gonna eat? Okay, everybody, this is uh, a mix of Missouri uh, tortoise chow, which is super nutritious. We got broccoli there. We got papaya there. I put in a calcium supplement. Okay. And guess what? These two like to come up and eat with baby Sheldon. How about that? Okay. It's pretty incredible from day one when I put them in here. Whoop, watch this. What are you going to do, buddy? When they're little, they got to learn about, you know, Baby Sheldon, he's now the big kid on the block. Yes, he is, right? Hi, buddy. And he's super gentle, so I can keep him with the little guys, okay? Even though they're different species, African cicadas, as long as nobody has a respiratory situation, right, and all that, then I can keep them together. Baby Green is outside with the box turtles today, okay? So that's why he's not here. All right. I keep the temperature at about between 80 and 90 degrees, okay? Okay, the thermostat's away, but it's about on average 90 degrees, all right? Okay, so let's say hi to these guys, baby number two. Remember that that yolk sack I told you about? Look at that, everybody, okay? This guy still has uh, a bit of the yolk sack. A couple of days ago, it was huge, okay? And he could barely, barely walk without flipping over. That's why I talk about you got to, they got to stay in that egg long enough. Okay. I know, buddy. Okay. And that's going to close up. That's the belly button, basically. And that's where the umbilical cord, that's where the yolk sac was attached. In a couple of weeks, that hole, unlike us, we keep our belly button. They don't. Okay. That shell will close up completely. Just like who? Let's see. Just like baby Sheldon. He had that same thing, but look at that. It's gone. Right? Long gone. All right. Up. Oh, upside down, Molly Brown. When these guys are little, they have to learn about being careful to not flip over. And if they flip over, it's a dangerous thing for them, especially this little, uh, you know, odds they might probably not going to get themselves back over. Okay. All righty. So let's see here. Okay. Look at this. So these guys, this is adorable. I want to show you something cool too. I don't know if you can see. Let's see here. We're going to try to focus. Okay. All right, let's see. Can you see the tip of this guy's nose? You see a little, you see a little like a pin, right? Can you see that? All right. That is an that's base that is what it's a little basically a little pin, a little nail that these guys are born with, and that gets them, helps them, they can peck a hole through the shell. Okay. And without that, they have a would have an impossible time virtually to get out of that shell. Okay. So nature has given them this little nail, right? Okay, the pecking nail. And when they get older, it's gone. Okay. It just it just uh goes away. All righty. So here is I named this guy little dude, everybody. Ah, huh? little dude, because from day one, super spunky, super spunky. Okay. 
runs around all the time. When I walk the doggies, Cray Cray Rocky and Sweet Piper, we pick fresh greens. I add in kale. Um, I add in, like I said, oh, look at he's eating. There you go. That's a good boy. These guys are tiny now, right? But they can grow up to 230 pounds. They are the third largest species in the world, people. Okay. This guy, he could be up to like maybe 50 pounds at the most. Okay. And will take 30 years to get there. These guys will be, Shy Girl is seven years old and 60 pounds. Okay. That's incredible, right? In seven years. Imagine that. Oh, what you gonna do? You oh yay! You made it, pal. And a boy. Okay. Vital that we hydrate these guys. Okay. Vital. Dehydration, the number one cause of death, everybody. Number one cause of death. Okay. So you gotta, so we have warm water here. You gotta make sure it's super shallow. Why? The first thing these guys did too was drink. Why super shallow? Because odds are good they're gonna flip over. If this guy flips over. And this guy flips over, okay? It's shallow, so they can't drown, okay? And you don't want to leave your babies unattended when you soak them. I use warm water. I, I put them in a bigger soak dish, okay? And I watch them. What I do is I soak them every day for maybe 15 minutes. Hi, buddy. Come in, okay? And I just take them with me. I take them when I have my bowl of cereal and all that stuff, okay? And this, even if they, they're going to instinctively drink the water, but even if they didn't, they would absorb the water through their skin, okay, through their tail and through their skin. So this is vitally important, okay? Like I said, the mister, I use the mister. I keep them very hydrated, okay, all the time, all right? So this is our cool little habitat for these guys, everybody. Very important you have a temperature gauge because if you don't, you would have no idea. You can't go by the box. You buy this stuff. This uh, this is a UV light, and this is this is uh, ultraviolet. So at nighttime, I shut this one off. There you go. Okay. So they don't see this light, but they stay nice and warm. Okay. During the day, I can turn just this one on or both. Okay. And you gotta have a thermostat in there. You can have a thermostat with a. Uh, a hum hum humidity gauge too, okay? So with both of these lights on and this here, this is about 90 degrees, which is perfect, okay? There you go. There goes Sheldon. This little guy, like I said, I already soaked him earlier, so we're just going to put him over here. And we're going to put you over here. We got, we got, we got, who do we got? We have, um, ha, <laughs> guess what? Oh, uh, dude, little dude. That's what I named him. Little dude. Look at already. He's looking to eat. See that? Okay. And we got, we got teeny tiny little dude. Okay. So a little dude. Let's see where that umbilical cord, where that is a little, it's a lot smaller. See that is almost completely absorbed. Okay. I, it's good to have these guys in together because the movement, they're moving around, helps them all want to move around. Okay. A little guy by himself. He just wants to sleep. But you put them in with others, and they're good, okay? Okay, so there we go, all right? How cool is that? Okay, so we're getting ready to wrap up for today, everybody. Okay, we're going to go back to here. <coughs> Ouch, his camera all over the place. El Ray, I'm sorry it is, and I know it doesn't look good. My camera person, Suzanne, who's with me every, um, every Sunday, couldn't make it today. So it's just me, okay? So I tried to get someone I couldn't. So that's why the camera's a hot mess, and I apologize for that. Not normally like this, okay? So please bear with me, all righty? Okay, so we got somebody that wants to say hello. Who is this, everybody? Okay, <laughs> this is how big <clears throat> an African sulcata can get in four years. This is coffee, everybody. Coffee super friendly, okay? Most sulcatas, in my experience, are super friendly, okay? And super ticklish, okay? This guy, when he's awake, they're just waking up. So when he's awake, oh, my God, loves to get back rubs right there. Their spine is right here, like our, just like ours. So when he's all awake, oh, there he goes a little bit. When he's all awake, he loves to get tickled, okay? Right there. This is Missouri Chow, everybody. I keep for the big guys. 
So they always have this out there, along with fresh water, of course. All right. There we go. You're doing a good job, Kevin. Hey, thank you. Okay. Yeah, so if you're watching for the first time, like I said, I'm going to move slow. I apologize for the camera work, everybody. Suzanne's not here with me today. She'll be back next Sunday. Okay. Um, so please check out the videos. Oh, the Tortoise Whisper video. That was dropped last Sunday. That's an awesome documentary. Okay. Okay. Here's Torga. Now, Torga has metabolic bone disease. Okay. Torga came about three months ago. Torga lived for three plus years in a t glass tank. Torga didn't get out in the sun. Hence this. Hence the malnutrition. And hence the inability of this beautiful girl to lift her shell off the ground. You see that? Okay. But guess what? She is doing much better. We give her lots and lots of calcium supplements, everybody. Okay. And now she could not climb Tortoise Land Mountain, everybody. She could not climb it at all. She would just, just stay there and swim. Okay. And look at her now. Okay. And she, I brought her into the vet yesterday and she has gained a ton of weight. She's on a ton of calcium supplements. Metabolic bone disease is a lack of calcium, a lack of nutrition, a lack of sunlight. Okay. You can't revert. You can, you can't cure it, but you can do a lot to reverse it. Okay. Like I said, now she's nice and strong. She's getting stronger every day. She can climb Tortoise Land Mountain. Okay. And again, one last thing, everybody. All right. Check out the video from this morning. What's it called? Right here. It's really good, everybody. Okay. We watch Shy Girl Helping Desperate Tortoise Lay Eggs. Okay. Up. Oh, right, buddy? That's right. We have 38 tortoises here at Tortoise Land, everybody. We need your help. Patreon.com backslash the tortoise guy. PayPal backslash tortoise land. GoFundMe backslash tortoise land. Where you going, dude? Hey, where you going, buddy? Okay. Okay, everybody, stay tuned next Sunday. Let's see how many more babies we have, okay? And stick with us. We are a nonprofit 501c3, right, Torga? Okay, everybody, hey, thanks for watching. Leave your comments, right? Tell me what you want to see on the show, okay? Tell me what you want to see. I love, I love people saying, hey, I'd love to see this tortoise or that tortoise. Again, the music from the show, Billy Joseph and the Army of Love. They're a great rock group, uh, folk rock, and they let us use all the music, okay? Because they believe in what we do here, and uh, they're just awesome, so check it out, okay? Okay, so from Torga and everybody at Tortoise Land, everybody, have a great Sunday. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you so much for the help and the comments and the love over the last um, uh, year and a half or so. It's been great. It's only going to get better, right? Okay, Torga, what do you say? Toga says, yeah, thanks, everybody. Take care. Until next time, bam, bam, and bam, right? Bam. There you go. We're going to end it.